Janks, this is Droids Finest, and I am back with Shadowrun Returns, part 30. I need to keep exploring the Cyber Matrix bullshit. Anyways, uh, Bitch Garf can't do a damn thing, so I'm gonna move her. Move her again. I think this other one over here is going to be the medical thing that I gotta do. different okay so oh man it's beautiful i love this without a question i love it oh hi i haven't seen you yet oh it's it's strong whatever it is it's strong charging oh uh oh I'm not letting it do that. I missed. Oh, God. Don't let it do it. Oh, God, no. Oh, thank God. Ugh. That was not fun. And or charming. There's a pretty big range in this place, too. Oh, crap. Oh, bitch. Oh, they're stronger in this one, I think. Yeah, they are, too. Oh, no, it's the boxes that are only 100. Okay, so... Of course I missed. Hit him. Ugh. Okay, medical board. This is what I needed. Are you... You, you gonna do it, or what? Move! Do it! Okay, there we go. Hacked patient records. Searching medical records. Medical records for Silas Forsberg. Located. Okay. 2020 to 2030. Paramedic record. One partial podiatrin. Or pediatrin. Ugh. Entry stands out from the rest. Okay. Can you tell me what it is? Child suffers from... Chronic depression and social anxiety, most likely caused by his physical abnormalities. We've seen many cases like this recently with the outbreak of changing changeling children being born with the aberrant physiology, with aber aberrant physiology. We're seeing there is no telling what sort of brain functions are affected. Prescribed a series of sedatives last year that seemed to have no effect using upping the dosage. Okay, so from 2030 to 2040, what's this? Data missing or corrupt, contact administrator for help. Okay, 2040 to present. The file is quite large and takes well over an hour to read through. Uh, I hope not. The final entry, however, is the most significant. It is written by Dr. Henry Holmes. Silas has overcome significant mental disorders and no longer gets through periods or goes through periods of violent episodes. Latest medications have proven especially effective, but I believe that being treated by another elf has significantly impacted his treatment. Unfortunately, my efforts to maintain an emotional Wait, where? Where was I? Oh, God. Ugh. An emotional boundary with him have proven challenging. He has bonded to me in an, in an unhealthy and, frankly, unnerving way. His hero worship exhibits itself in the form of a mimicked speech patterns and adapting or adopting my dress. For the reasons... For this reason and for health of my patient, and the health of my patient, I am assigning another doctor to his case. I will inform him of the next session. Whoa. Okay, leave it. And now where? Okay, no, nope. Dr. Holmes, keep going, find out if it works. Okay. Well, there's nowhere other, other ways. No. No. Hey, okay, I'm moving forward. 
Watch out, that black I see could wipe, wipe our brains. What? Which one? Oh, that thing. That looks friendly. Yeah, I can attack this guy from here, I think. Bam, bitch. Uh oh, he's trying to wipe my brain. He's trying to wipe my brain. Screw you, wait, brain wiper. Ugh. Oh, come on. Get him. You fucking bitch. Oh, I took host damage. That's not good. Uh-huh. Okay, so maybe if I move here, I can get a cleaner shot at this guy. Just want that one dead so I can deal with the big one. Oh, shit. Let me move the damn screen. Okay, he is dead. So, now it's up to this thing. Did I hit it or not? Oh, miss. That also seemed to miss. That one hit, I think. Didn't it? I think it did. I'm not sure. Okay, I, okay, I need to get closer to it. I don't want to, but I have to. Stay where I want you to stay, you prick. Right, wipe my brain now, bitch. Employment records located Henry Hall Hollings Holmes M D PhD. Check current employment status. Current employment status. Dr. Henry Holmes currently holds a position of chief psychiatrist and administrator at Mercy Mental Health Sh Snohomish, Washington, UCAS. Okay. Check previous employers. Previous employers. 2045 to 2054. Psychiatrist in residence. Mercy Mental Hospital in Snomish, Washington. 2045, 2040 to 2045. Attending psychiatrist. Mercy Mental Hospital in Snomish, Washington. 2030 to 2040. Private practice. So... It's all leading to something here. Jack out, bro. All right, let's jack out. Got to jack offline, everybody. Let's jack off here. Just jacking off. Nobody pay attention. I'm just jerking it. I mean, jacking off, jacking out, whatever. Oh, shit. Reality is at the end of day contextual. And as the meat, meat world comes back into focus, your head once again tries to settle which world is the real one. While the philosophical question lingers, your, me your meat body demands food and drink. You disconnect from your deck to find that the Union safe house has risen. Uh, I just finished that in time. Okay, so there's going to be a whole bunch of talking. I can buy magic. I can do a lot of stuff in here. So, I think because the last episode was so long, I might cut this one a bit short. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I can, maybe I can see about a weapon or two or... Check in, see about magic. Despite the hour, Buster has fasted thisly, put together another wrinkle free suit. He shows every indication that he's been up for hours, sunk to his elbows in a dozen crates, 
each containing objects of sinister mate. Black hidden beneath curls of straw colored packing foam. The foam, uh, the foam flies about as he uh, as he inventories the shipment clinging to every surface except for Buster's immaculate suit. Just in time. I got a whole slew of new toys in from the from a supplier's back seat or back east. Factory fresh and still smelling of the mother's gun oil. Maybe there's something in the batch that you could that you'd be interested in. How long have you been in the trade, Buster? Well, let's see here. I left Cal Free on July 8th, 2038 at 6.13 a.m. It was a Thursday. From there, I wandered a bit and plied my skills as a merc in a half dozen different wars, official or otherwise. Never did take running to the, running the shadows like some other boys. I knew, to subtle my tastes, I suppose. Too subtle for my taste, I suppose. Surely there was no shortage of full-scale engagements to be had, so I didn't work, want work. Oh, I didn't want for work. Might still be doing it today if I hadn't lost an arm. How'd you lose it? It was so. It was also stupid. Some Azzies were lobbing smokers behind our lines, more to mess with us than anything. I decided to toss one back, and didn't it just? And didn't it just figure that the one I I grabbed ain't a smoker? I got got it off, but. Only just barely shredded my arm, but good. Got plenty of scars to remember the moment by as well. But the arm was the big one, okay? Ugh, why do they all talk so much? I'm tired, I want to sleep, and I'm getting confused. Like, I'm trying to read, but I'm not focused enough to do it. So take a word of advice from an old soldier. Make sure you never... You're never holding a grenade in one hand unless you just pulled the pin with the other. Now, if I haven't given you a reason to doubt my professional competence, how about we talk turkey? What can I get you? Let's see what you got. Okay. Oh, I see what it is. The red ones are probably weaker than the ones that, oh no, required ranged combat plus three and all that. Okay, so that's making sense now. So I can't equip those. I can get an Uzi. Let me see what else there is. I can get some cool shotguns. The street sweepers seeming pretty cool. AK-47 seems really good. Okay, so... Can't get an axe or any of those just yet. Can't get any drones yet? Okay. I get I get it more now, but still don't get it completely. Advanced drone repair. Oh, I don't need any of that. Um I think I want to change up my gun. Maybe I should get like an AK. Actually, you know what? The sim semo pole. Their Semopal has a bigger capacity by four bullets, but.
That's surprisingly good, so I'll take that. Change up my weapon. Full. Why can't I switch it? Negative this? Oh, there we go. Okay, I figured it out now. There we go. This is starting to make more sense every time I play it. I'm out of time, but at least I got to buy a new weapon. Uh, and I got to play through that Matrix part, so that's cool. Confirm. TB Gerben. Okay, never mind. Alright, so I'm going to end it here. I'll be back tomorrow with another five episodes. Uh, and I'll, I'll figure all this out. Maybe I can get some new magic. Maybe I can... Uh, or something. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to save now. I'm really tired. And I can... Oh, I can also upgrade some stuff. I should have probably did that first. Oh, well. Because then I could I you know, I probably could have got a, got a level 3 gun instead of what I just got, but it's all good. Let me just save. There's also one other thing I wanted to look at, but... Okay, I'm going to check it out just before I end my episode. Oh, and it's... Christmas Eve, by the way, as I was playing, it went, uh, past midnight, so. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, I guess. Confirm. Let me just check something really quick. It's about that perspective, the... Oh, where is it? Is it... Okay. Projection mode. What did that do? Perspective. Let me just... I want to see what the difference is. Maybe it... Keeps it zoomed out. I hope that that's what it is, but I don't know. Anyways, like I said, I'm tired as hell. I'm going to bed, so stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!